It starts out as a murder scene and leaving one victim decapitated. So they were given, uh, presented a crime scene downstairs. Uh, there were two uh, stabbed victims. So they look at the crime scene. They saw the skull there, a knife there. So when they came upstairs, so we simulated like uh, in the crime scene, they have to take the samples from the suspect. 15 high school students participate in LSUA's MASH program and must solve the murder case by extracting DNA samples in the forensic workshop. There's three suspects, either two of the ex-boyfriends or an ex-boyfriend's girlfriend that was jealous. And we looked at the blood splatters to see, you know, who was standing, who moved the head because the head was completely away from the body. So someone had to move it. We just talked about knife prints or knife impressions and we did DNA testing. We extracted DNA from a banana, which kind of resembled extracting DNA from a blood sample. Once DNA samples are finished, they jumped into something a little more exciting. The students' favorite activity that they did today was facial reconstruction. They had to take pieces of clay and create a face to match the one from the murder scene. It's really cool to get to play with the clay and try to make a person and a face out of it. Going into the program, most students had their minds set on other professions. And after this program, they say they're leaning more towards forensics. I originally wanted to be a CRNA with anesthesia and everything, but I can definitely see myself in the forensic lab. I'd started off wanting to be a pediatric doctor or just a general physician, but now as I'm looking, I'm thinking lab work seems really fun. Tomorrow will be the last day of the program, and the students will work on a microbiology and parasite workshop. Then afterwards, they will be tested on each case and receive their one-hour college credit. In Alexandria, Taylor Rubach, ABC 31 News.